Now there are a ton of different video apps out there, but one that I found myself using more of lately is WebEx. It's been my go-to for meetings and occasionally to chat with my friends. Needless to say, <laughs> I got real familiar with different video conference applications, but I learned a few things about this one that made me lean into it a little bit more, and we're gonna talk about it. One of the most important things to me is compatibility. Especially when we go in between devices and communicating with different people on different devices, it's good to have something that feels kind of universal on all. So one thing I really enjoy with WebEx is that it works on Android, iOS, Mac, and Windows. So whichever device I'm on, I'm good to go. And it's options like this that I found that I really like because it allows me to take calls on the go because there definitely have been times where I haven't made it back to the computer. <laughs> in the amount of time that I need it. So I like being able to just go on my phone if necessary and still handle my business by attending a meeting or a briefing. And before we go any further, I just wanna take a quick moment to not only thank WebEx for sponsoring this video, but also for supporting the channel and putting me with the solution to help power my workflow and my team. Now the second thing that was really important for me outside of compatibility is features. Cause I wanna make sure that I'm using something that's actually conducive to what I need and you know, helps power my workflow. So in being able to install apps into WebEx, I like that it was able to unlock the poll option. And this was super easy to set up. You basically like choose the option that you want and then you input the data and then you can pose the question. Cause yes, I could say, you know, who likes this video idea or who likes this thumbnail and blah, blah, blah. But instead of having everybody sound off at once or, you know, putting some information in the chat box, I can go ahead and have a nice structured clean layout to get the information that I need. I found this handy when I was chatting with like more than one person, whether that be my friends or some of you that might have hit that join button on the channel because I'm honestly, just a little, little insight. I'm thinking about maybe opening something up like this where we can have something like exclusive chats and you know, give sneak peeks of videos and things like that. I don't know, just a little thought. So let's just, let's keep, let's keep moving. <laughs> But another feature that I found myself using a lot is the screen share option. So especially when I'm working with my editor remotely and there's something that I wanna show maybe within the project that we're working on, this option makes it super easy to do so. All right, so you can screen share by just hitting share here and then you can come in and choose if you wanna show a specific window that you have open or either in other scenarios, like especially when I am on the opposite end of the troubleshooting spectrum and I need some help. I like to be able to show what the issue is in the moment, so that's came in hand as well to give reference to the person that's helping me. And the thing that I really like too is that you can select the window that you wanna share. So now it's only going to share my post lab window. Bow. So if you're the type that feels that you need to get your screen in a certain setup in the event that you might need to share it, you can breathe here because now you can at least just select the window that you want to share or the app that you wanna share instead of sharing your entire screen. And WebEx Huddle, this is something that I'm probably gonna be using a lot more of to annoy my editor. <laughs> because this lets us quickly hop into a meeting with a single click. There's no scheduling required. He might, he might hate me for this one. <laughs> and another standout feature, video layouts. I need a nice clean layout to move amongst. So I enjoy being able to customize this to my liking. I'm able to select who I wanna see, change my video layout, and even choose virtual backgrounds, cause let's face it y'all, sometimes we might be camera ready, but this ain't, you know? So you can either switch the look of things or mask the look of things. And the chat box in here is nice as well because not only can you send messages here, but you can also send GIFs, emojis, reactions. I'm definitely a GIF emoji meme person. <laughs> But those are just a few of my favorite features. There's also a searchable transcript option and a noise cancellation and speech enhancement feature. And then the last thing that I really liked with WebEx is the ease of use. So everything is really intuitive. It's set in a way where I felt comfortable looking around. You have your navigation options along the left or I can join a meeting or schedule a meeting. So when I do need to connect with my team, I can easily get that calendar invite out to them to do so because simplicity is key. And when I'm in a call, Everything is outlined at the bottom. Like you're not looking all over the screen to find what you need. Just centralize your eyes, y'all. So a few quick tips when you're doing these, you know, web conferences and things like that. First thing first, make sure you light yourself properly. You're gonna want to put the light in front of you, not behind you. So scenarios where you have windows like this, if it can be avoided, you know, just rearrange things so that it's not in the shot. 
put as much light in front of you instead of behind you as possible. And with good lighting, you're gonna to wanna to be able to capture that with a good camera. <laughs> so for a while I was just using the built-in cameras on my computers, which were good, but there was a noticeable difference when I switched over to the Cisco WebEx desk camera. It has 4K video and it looks so good. I know I used their camera um, as well for a speaking engagement I had over the weekend and the video quality just looks so crisp. So if you need a good webcam, I highly suggest this one. It even has the screws on the bottom and the little privacy cover. And when I pair this with my WebEx Bluetooth headset, I'm good to go. And when you're using the camera, you're gonna to wanna to try to put it at eye level as much as possible. So like at the top of your monitor or like the top of your screen is where you're gonna to wanna to put it. So this has changed for me the way that I work and communicate, especially for my business needs. And hopefully, you know, it can also have the same impact for you. I highly suggest you check it out. And I'm gonna link it down below for you in case you do want to and throw some more videos on screen that you can check out if you wanna binge on my content. But until that next one, y'all, as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.